Ashley, thank you very much. Today was the first full day of jury deliberations in the trial of Michelle Traconis. She is the woman charged with conspiracy to commit murder in the death of New Canaan mother Jennifer Farber Dulos. Today, jurors, they asked to listen again to testimony from a friend of Traconis. And joining me now is former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney Ryan McGuigan. Great to have you here with me. Thank you very much for having me. I want to start with uh, the jury sending a note. They were asking to re-listen to testimony. And this was testimony of a friend of Michelle Traconis. And this what came in late during the trial. This was one of the last few witnesses to take the stand. Sort of walk us through. I mean, you never really know what a jury is going to ask for. But this, some people wondering, could that mean something? Could that mean that the jury may be more, cl you know, closer to, to a verdict here by looking at testimony from a, a final witness? But it's hard to say, right? That is. It, it's, it's really hard to say. So uh, it, it, it's, it's tough trying to glean what it means. Um, if you're the defense attorney, boy, do you try. And if you're the prosecutor, boy, you look into every, everything that's going on. Um, but um, generally speaking, uh, what it usually comes down to is that there's an, a, a disagreement in, in the jury deliberations between two of the jurors who sort of misremembered something. Where one person saying, well, I remember her friend said X, Y, and Z. And then uh, you'll have another juror said, no, that's not what, what they said at all. I took a note, and here I have my notes right here. So then what they'll do is they'll ask the judge to have the, um, the testimony reread to them. So then the jurors can then say, okay, this is what actually the person said. So they're just really could be, it could be that they're just clearing up um, some discrepancy or, or some, some disagreement on what happened and what was said. Sometimes there's this thought process that if the jury is quick to deliberate, that that's in favor of the defense. And if they're not quick to deliberate, that that would be in favor of the prosecution. What, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, that that's, uh, I won't say it's a wives' tale, it, uh, but um, that's, a, that's a, a general consensus. But in, in my experience in 26 years, that's not necessarily true. Uh, I've had a, a six-week federal trial one time where the jury was out for nearly two weeks and they came back wow. guilty. Um, so um, you, you also have, um, I've had trials where people have come back in 12 minutes and, and, and it's not guilty. Uh, so it, not, it, it's, it doesn't always follow um, that, that uh, sort of stereotype. Let's talk about some hypotheticals here. The jury has to be unanimous if it is in fact a guilty verdict. Mm -hmm. Can you can you just walk me through the parameters there of what needs to happen for uh, specific verdicts? Yep. So um, w within the jury room, each uh, juror gets a pamphlet, and they have to uh, sort of check off what the jury charges are. So they have kind of like a, f a flow chart, and then they'll have the um, the four person who has the flow chart that ends up going to the judge, and it literally will say, if you find this, then you must do this, and if you find this, then you then you can move on to this part of it. So uh, the jury has all that, and so what they're doing right now, um, it's why it's so difficult in a trial like this where there's a lot of charges right. there's a, there, and, and there's, there's other people, um, there's conspiracies and then there's, there's underlying acts. Um, based on all of that, the, that flow chart that they're going to have is kind of complex. So it will take a while to get through all of these charges. So I don't think that this is going to happen quickly at all. Okay. Really, some people say that trying to guess a jury is a fool's errand it at is. this point. Thank you for joining us, Ryan McGuigan. You're very welcome. Thank Always you very great much. to have you here. All right, Anne, over to you.